play presents an example of how the Greek gods controlled mortal men, who could not escape their powers and mercy. Sometimes they even demanded human sacrifice to appease this pleasure, and the men were forced to obey, no matter how much they personally objected. As you doubtless know, the Trojan was found by a woman, Helen, wife of King Menelaus of Sparta, who was kidnapped by the Trojan prince Paris. Because all the Greek princes had sworn an oath to defend Helen's marriage, they were all honor bound to go to Troy and rescue them. As the troops were gathering at all his bed, Agamemnon, high king of the Greeks, and brother of King Menelaus, offended the goddess Artemis by carrying a stag sacred to To punish him, Artemis become the Greek fleet at all his bed, refused to let the men's blow until Agamemnon sacrificed his daughter, if he did Agamemnon's fleet was thus become, and his army, anxious to set out for the Trojan War, was about to revolt against his leadership. Despite his love for his daughter, at the Agamemnon, at the urging of his brother and the prophet Calchas, sent for her, promising his wife Clytemestra that if a Gentile was to be married to the young hero Achilles. The play begins as Agamemnon is suffering regret from his sin for his wife and daughter. Why do you worry so? The guards are quiet. I envy you, old man. I have jealous of men who live their lives without worry and to do not sense peril. The letter in your hand, you have written many times. You see the letter and rip the seal. Over and over you repeat the step. My Lord, I have no one. I have watched you. At times you seem to be on the verge of madness. I am the loyal servant. Share your idea with me. The prophet Calchas spoke to me about this frightening call. He predicted that there would be other ruin for my army and me unless I make a sacrifice to the goddess Artemis. The wounds will blow if I sacrifice my daughter Iphigenia, and victory will be mine. But I would never have the cruel strength to sacrifice my own daughter. And yet, after hearing my brother Menelaus advise me to commit this horror, I wrote a letter to my wife, Clytemnestra, asking her to bring Iphigenia to this camp. I told her that Iphigenia was to marry Achilles, one of my officers. But now I know I did a great wrong to have sent this letter, and in my hand I hold the truth, telling them not to come. What does the letter say? Clytemnestra, this letter brings you a different message. Do not bring it to nigh to me. Her marriage to Achilles has been postponed. Will not Achilles be angry at having postponed his wedding? Achilles knows something of this. If me, my wife, and daughter are on their way, convince them to turn back. Make them go back. Yes, my lord. Go. Run. Help me out of my agony. My heart stands close to the break of grief. All is still. The birds have flown away, leaving behind silent air. Nothing moves on this day. <laughs> Menelaus, what you are doing goes against all conscience. Letter to Caravan's evil disaster upon Greece. Give me the letter. Beware, sir, when you speak too boldly. I will not give up my right to the letter. If you do not cease to chatter, you will feel the pain of this stick. To die for my lord Agamemnon would be a good death. Lord Agamemnon, Menelaus has took the letter from my hand by force and opened it. I cannot stop him. Why do you strike my servant? Look into my eyes, Agamemnon. Do you think I, Agamemnon, shrink from the gaze of your eyes? The letter carries the seeds of treason. I order you to give me the letter. No, not until every Greek has read it. You broke the royal seal, which you had no right to do. For this secret plot, you will suffer. Have you no shame to pry into my affairs? None, for your plan changes from day to day. Your mind is treacherous. How I despise your smooth tongue. Remember how eager you were to lead the Greek army against the city of Troy. I encourage you to follow the advice of the prophet Calchas to sacrifice your daughter to the goddess Artemis. Now your story is you will not be your daughter's murderer. How I groan for grief. She has a ruler so weak and spineless. Brother versus brother is a sad tale to tell. These ugly words are painful to hear. You may choose madness, but I will keep my life decent and with honor. Greece is in trouble, Agamemnon. Listen to the silence about you. The gods need and demand a sacrifice. Some god is serving you mad. To some, you are the high king of Greece, but to me, you are a traitor to Greece. Lord Agamemnon! Your daughter, Ephigenia, and her mother, Clymenestra, have arrived. Rumors spreading that perhaps there has been a wedding planned for Ephigenia. People wonder who will be the bridegroom. Shall I order the lutes to be played and the dancing to begin? We are grateful for their safe arrival. Now get to rest. This is the beginning of my disaster, Brother Menelaus. My wife has soon discovered that I am an author of evil. 
If the denial cry, I'll ask you why our father is sending her to death. I've fallen into a pit out of which there is no escape. We grieve over the king's misfortune. You have won, Menelaus. No, I will draw all the words I have said to you. It is an outrageous idea to sacrifice a daughter. My thoughts have changed, and again, we are brothers. A worthy speech, Menelaus. My thanks reach out to you, brother. Quarrels between brothers are lonesome, but I'm afraid we have reached a fatal place and there is no going back. I do not understand. No one can force you to sacrifice your daughter. I could secretly return them home, but I doubt if I can keep the secret from the whole army. The army need not to know. The prophet Calchas will see that everyone knows that they intend to sacrifice. I feel myself quite hopeless. Men allow us to call for caution that claim necessary not to govern my plan to sacrifice if denied. You are obeying it. No. You do your part of the wedding, and I shall do mine. I have become a conspirator against my own loved ones. I am confounded, yet I must go to the prophet Calchas to ask him what pleased the goddess Artemis most, even though her wish might spell my grief. Behold, here comes Achilles. Where is I not? Tell him I'm here. Tell him that all of Greece is ready to attack Troy. I heard your voice, Achilles, and I greet you with much pleasure. I do not know you. I am not as my husband. And soon, you will marry our daughter, Iphigenia. I do not understand you, my lady. What marriage do you speak of? I have never courted your daughter, and neither has Agamemnon spoken to me about this planned marriage. I do not understand you. Your words amaze me. Let us try to solve this riddle together. Perhaps we both speak the truth. I think this whole marriage has been a lie. I am covered in shame speaking to you. Do not be overly concerned. It is but a light matter. Perhaps the gods are mocking us. I am humiliated by this deception. Farewell. May I see too embarrassed to look upon your face. I too say farewell and go to seek Agamemnon. Do I have permission to speak? Speak. Lily, I am more loyal to you, Queen Clytemnestra, than I am to Agamemnon. Your loyalty has never been questioned. You've been a servant in our palace for many years. I tell you directly that King Agamemnon plans to kill your daughter with his own hand. He plans to cut her throat at the altar of Artemis. Why? Why? What horror has entered his mind to commit such a deed? The prophet Calchas informed Agamemnon that the go goddess Artemis will not allow the Greek fleet to sail unless he sacrifices his daughter for Janine. You know all the mystery now. And the marriage is a pretext to bring her here? Yes. Poor Iphigenia, I cannot hold back my tears. Weep, my lady, weep. Old servant, are you sure you speak the truth? I was on my way with the second letter telling you not to come. Why did you not deliver the second letter? Blame Menelaus. He is the cause of all our 
for he tore the letter from my hand. Achilles, do you hear the story? I hear the misery that has been inflicted on me. You were used to trick my daughter into coming here. I shall reproach Agamemnon for his actions. You are a demigod, Achilles, and I am a mortal. I cast myself at your knees to beg your protection. I brought my daughter to you in good faith, and I implore you to raise your hand in our defense. Mothers possess a powerful spell when they fight to protect their children. Your pride and anger lifts my soul. Your daughter, if a Janiah, will not die at the hands of her father. Be calm and comforted. Your, Your words are worthy of you, Achilles. May the gods bless you, Achilles, for helping me in my misfortune. Like a sentinel, I shall be near. It shall be as you have spoken. Poor Iphigenia, your head will wear the crown of sacrifice. Poor Iphigenia. Woe well, the times when men put treacherousness behind them. Poor Iphigenia. <coughs> Has Agamemnon arrived? Do you hear the tears of my daughter? She moans and sobs, hearing of her father's plot. Behold, Agamemnon arrives. I am glad you are here. Send for Iphigenia to join me. Iphigenia, come. Your father wills you to come. Bring Orestes with you. Iphigenia, come. Your father wills it so. Behold. She's here. She's obedient. Why are you crying, Iphigenia? Why do you not look at me? Why is your terror in your face? Agamemnon, my husband and king, answer this question with the courage of a man. Speak. Do you intend to kill our daughter? What a vile question you ask. Answer. My secret has been betrayed. I know you're a <coughs> Your refusal to answer this question directly is your confession of this horrible plan. Lying would only add shame to my misfortune. You would kill your daughter to win a war? Do not commit this sin. Be wise, repent. Do not slaughter your child. Yield, Agamemnon. Together, save your child. Do not kill my sister, Father. I beg you. Do not take away my life, Father. Even little Rusty's begs you to spare my life. Be merciful, Agamemnon. This witness of life is precious to me. Father, look into my eyes and see my heart. I beseech you, let me live. It is the prophet Calchas who has decreed your death, lovely daughter, not I. The Greek army is mad with desire to sail for Troy, and finding not peace the goddess Artemis, the soldiers will kill us all. I dare not change my mind. All Greece forces upon the sacrifice. O oh, daughter, Greece turns to me for help. O oh, mother, Artemis has chosen me for sacrifice, and I shall be slain by my father's hand. We pity you for your evil fate. The whole army is shouting. What are they shouting? It is about Iphigenia. They insist she be sacrificed to the goddess Artemis. They want her slaughtered. Poor Iphigenia. All is lost now. The soldiers say I've become a slave to this false marriage. Fine. And you did not attempt to save her as you vowed? And you did not attempt to save her as you vowed? Yes, but I too am in danger. What danger threatens you? They threaten to stone me to death. Every soldier has turned against me. Even my own men will not listen to reason. The mob is a terrible, frightening thing. However, I will defend you both. You fight thousands of soldiers alone? Mother, something has seized my heart and overwhelmed me. Mother, I want to die. I want to die gloriously for Greece. All of Greece turns its eyes onto me, and to me only. For the Greek fleet will sail, and for Artemis to let the winds blow. Mother, you gave birth to me, not only for yourself, but for all of Greece. The goddess Artemis seeks my death. Who am I to oppose your final? It is right that I be sacrificed. O oh, child, you play a noble role. Your soul is noble, Iphigenia. If you change your mind as the sword is pointed at your throat, call my name and I will rescue you. I am here to escort you to the altar, my lady, Iphigenia. Mother, do not weep for me. Do not make a coward of me. What must I do but cry? After I'm dead, do not mourn for me. What can this child know of mourning? Is not losing a child reason for mourning? I'm not lost, but saved. Do not leave us, Iphigenia. It's time, Iphigenia. I say goodbye to all now. Orestes, my little brother, grew up to be a strong man. And mother, do not hate my father, your husband. She speaks bravely. She is a credit to her noble blood. How can I forgive your father? Against his will, he sacrifices me. It is the will of the gods. Iphigenia, daughter, do not leave me. Stop. I forbid you to have tears. Lift up your voices, Greeks. Let us sing in honor of Artemis. With my own blood, I shall help wash away Troy. Never will your glory fade. Never, never. O oh, glorious day, to another world I soon go. Beloved day, farewell.
walks to the altar of death. All hail to the goddess Artemis. All hail to Artemis. Greece will be crowned with victory. The Greeks tell several endings to this story. One is that Agamemnon indeed slaughters his daughter and incurs the undying wrath of his wife, Clytemnestra, who murders him when he returns from Troy. In another version, Artemis stops the slaughter and gives Agamemnon a deer to kill instead. Then she spirits Iphigenia away to be a priestess at her shrine. <laughs> 